Today we are looking at how you can create some really simple continuous line drawings. Continuous line drawing is where you create a drawing without taking your pen off the paper. And not only does it force you to simplify what you're seeing, but it also creates some really interesting drawings. Imagine you were creating a drawing using just one shoelace. If you were going to create a facial profile with this one shoelace, You'd have to think quite carefully about how you would place the eye, how you would form the nose, because it's all just one piece, and that is how you have to think of a simple continuous line drawing. So just in case you were still unsure, I've done this rather marvellous, I think, demonstration of a continuous line drawing around my face using a shoelace. And as you can see, I think the resemblance is quite remarkable. So have a go, it's really good fun and really quite simple. First find yourself some animal reference images and I'm going to use a horse picture that I found on Pixabay but you can use anything you like and then grab yourself a pen and what we're going to do is create a continuous line drawing but try and make it really really simple so it might take a few goes to get something right and something you're really happy with. So that is a stunning plaster you're wearing on your hand Tara, what have you done? I know, I banged my hand just before I started the video and it wouldn't stop bleeding. Well, you might have put some googly eyes on it or something. I know, I'm sorry. I do apologise for that horrible, gammy looking <laughs> plaster. So obviously this is a speeded up video. So roughly how long would this have actually taken you? Oh, these take a few minutes each. But the first one is always terrible. And if you can look at the first one I drew here, it looks like pin the tail on the donkey. Uh, uh, <laughs> I actually thought it was really good. And here, now I've loosened up a bit, I'm having another go at doing a continuous line drawing, but trying to make this one look a lot better than the first donkey I did. Now I'm intrigued by this bit because I want to know why are you putting your sketch inside a clear plastic sleeve? Well, because I'm about to use markers and it does, I don't know if you want to protect your drawing or not, but you definitely want to protect your light box. So okay. if you draw over with a marker, at least it's not going to end up all marked on your light box. So... Are you just making subtle changes now until you're happy with it? Yeah, basically, I, each time I do it, I tweak it. Actually, sometimes it makes it worse, but I'm trying out different things, seeing if I can kind of simplify the line work a bit. So I suppose you can just keep going and going with these. Yeah, basically keep going until you're happy, which is what I did. And then I, when I get to one, I think, sort of get in there, then I'll start um, putting some thicker lines on it and, uh, you know, making areas stand out more. So in a way, it becomes something else altogether than just a simple uh, continuous line drawing the more you develop it. And I suppose you can keep going for as long as you like. Yeah, definitely. So go on then, Tara. Say it. Here's some I made earlier. <laughs> yeah, these, these are ones I did a little while ago. And all I did here was did exactly the same thing as I've just shown you. But then I've just dappled on a little bit of watercolour. And I always think they could be kids' room paintings yeah. or something like that. Yeah, brilliant. Don't forget to subscribe. Meanwhile, you can check out the creative challenges we have coming up at www.kickinthecreatives.com. Back soon.